One of the major ways to grab the attention of your audience right from the beginning of your video is by creating beautiful title animations. And so in this tutorial, I'll be showing you how to create beautiful minimalist title animation that will help you achieve this goal. Now we're going to be doing all these animations in a light motion. So if you don't have the app, um, you can go and get the app. The link is in the description below. Hello everyone, BJ Manuel here. I want to welcome you back to my YouTube channel. Um, if today is your first time, please consider subscribing to the channel. Give this video a big thumbs up if you get value at the end of the video. And subscribe to all returning subscribers. Thank you so much. God bless you. And without any further ado, let's jump right into the video and get started. Okay guys, so this is um, what we are going to be doing. Now the first thing you want to do is, I, I want I want to blow this up so you can see exactly what I'm doing. Alright, so I'll be working in on this side so you can see exactly what we are doing. Alright, so the first thing you want to do is bring in a shape and then adjust the size according to what I'm showing you. So you, the first thing you want to do is unlink this first so the width and the height are on different scale so you blow your your width to 700 and your height to 255 nice then change the name to shape one Change the color to whatever color you want and then click on the shape one go to effect add effect um, matte mask and key select wipe and then um, select the standard setting then come to end add a keyframe go to 15 frames forward Add another keyframe, then come into at the 15 frames, go to start, add a keyframe, and then go to one second and add another keyframe. Alright, so now go to your end from the beginning. Now, first and foremost, you need to make the angle go to 90 degrees. So your angle has to go to 90 degrees like that. Okay, All right now you come to end. At your first keyframe, you move it to zero. Nice. And then you come to your start. At the end here, you move it to 100. Nice. So for your end, you are going to give it this curve like so and then for your start I'm going to give it this curve like so so we are done with our first um, animation looks like all right no Okay, good. Now, the next thing you want to do now is bring in your shape and then you adjust it according as the first one, 700, 255, boom. Um, we don't need the fill color, so I'll undo the fill color, go to outline and shadow. Change the color to white and then increase the size a little bit like that. So we have that. Now, what I will do is I'll trim it to one second and then, or I'll reduce it a little bit more than one second. And then I'll go in my effects, and then I'll add um, drawing. 
flow from start to finish so uh, I have an effect like that so I want it to move from right to left so what I'll do is I will flip horizontally so it moves from my right to my left like that all right so the next thing I'll do is to adjust the keyframes the movement all right so I'll you know just add this movement to it and then yeah the, the graph editor like so like that yeah and then i'll just move it a little bit here so we have something like this all right um i'm still not satisfied with the movement so i'll adjust this that that yeah yes that's better so if you give it a play now you have something like that good so now I'll duplicate it duplicate and then I'll delete this effect because I don't need it I'll stretch this out like that stretch it out to the end of my composition and then I'll go in and add a new effect drawing and then draw gradually yeah so it draws gradually like that now I'll displace it a little bit so that it's there's a gap between the two of them but then I'll just adjust the graph editor a little bit like that yeah so you have something like that beautiful we are done with our shapes oh hey there videography basically is projecting the image that you want your audience to see for instance you think I'm in a car no I'm not neither am I in this flamboyant office in this day and age you can put yourself just about anywhere you want depending on what you want your audience to see. If you want to learn how to do this using just your smartphone, click on the link below this video and I'll show you how. Go ahead, click on the link and I'll see you on the other side. So the next thing you want to do now is bring in your text. So from the intro, you'll discover that the this uh, shape one is the one that reveals the text that says never. So what you do now is go in there and then type in your never I would um, use Montserrat light I'll change the color first and foremost I'll increase that and then the size increase the size to the size of the shape like that and then I can change the color to this so it reveals so yeah so we have a review like that let me reduce the size a little bit good I think that is perfect and then since it's the shape one that reveals the never we're going to bring the never below the shape one so there is a perfect review yeah like that so that's it now there is a wipe so you see the never if you check the video the never comes in the white one comes in and then the darker one comes to cover it so what we'll do is we just duplicate our never our text layer duplicate it and then change the color to white and then go to um, effects add effect and um, go to your max uh, yeah wipe and then transition in down click on that so and then if you adjust this you have something like that you see 
so that's just simple all right so you do this work like that and then you duplicate it one more time displace it a little bit and change the color back to what it was before and so you have something like this what you see so white comes in and then it converts like that so we are done with that now the last part is that um, subheading or the subtitle or whatever you want to call it okay so now you bring in your your text now or uh, your shape and then change the color to that and then you can just adjust it as you see fit or link that reduce that adjust that I think I'll stretch it a little bit more and then I'll um, yeah that's cool so the last um, uh, the other thing is to animate it so what we'll do is I'll adjust it here so the animation comes in at this point so go to 15 frames and then I'll come to move and transform and then click add a keyframe at 50, 1 second 15 and then I'll go to 1 second and then I'll just switch that off like that let me adjust my keyframe into yeah so we have something like this i'll give it a little bit of nice graph editing so we have that now what i'll do next is i'll duplicate this duplicate and then just adjust it a little bit change the color so we can have something like these now the thing what we need to do is just um, adjust the size so I'll come to the last keyframe here I'll adjust this and then I'll adjust this and that's it so we have something like this nice so I think the last part is just to bring in the text that says stop dreaming so it's never stop dreaming so you just type in your stop dreaming beautiful and then bring it down there for the font I'll use Montserrat semi bold or actually I'll use extra bold and change my color to that the size I'll change to that and voila so we want the sh the text to be revealed not just to come in abruptly like that so what we'll do is we'll duplicate this orange rectangle duplicate duplicate and then i'll bring it to the top of the text and then i'll drag it to where the text is so just adjust them to make sure they are on the same level like that and then what i will do is i'll click on the text press and hold click on the rectangle and then you see this mask option here click on that so you have something like this isn't that lovely isn't that lovely All right so that's the end of the first um, title animation so you can see how um, simple it is now if you apply this same principle to all the remaining animations they are just the same thing all right so instead of moving from up to down another one moves from left to right or right to left and so on and so forth all right so they are just the same principles all right so um give it a try and um let's see and then the last part of this is what i'll do is i'll click on all i'll select all the layers except for the background and group them together so i'll group them together like that so we have a group like so and then at this point so at this point where the text is coming in i'll just go there go to that's on the group i'll go to my transform add a keyframe and then move back a little bit and then do that so we have something like this down right and then you are done so if you take it back to the normal size and then you can move this to wherever you want it to be give it a play now beautiful animation beautiful animation i can look this for 
forever. All right. So that's the first um, text animation. Hope you enjoy it. Do yours and please try it out and let me see what you do. All right. Try it out and let me see what you do. Thank you very much. I'll see you in the next animation. Bye.